this next episode, we're finally going to hear David speak on the show, and I, for one, am tickled. I'm excited. This has been a long time overdue. We know we've seen from the previews, Christine, in the last episode, was discussing how she's went on her second date. She's all excited. This upcoming episode, she's going to sit the kids down, let them know they have said the three magic words, and they are, you know, serious. They're an item. And she believes this is a long time thing. I've said from the jump, y'all, it is so good to see Christine so giddy about this right here. It really is. In my opinion, this is when she digs out of her phone the selfie of her and David on their second date. She's like, look, it's cute. Y'all, I love this. Fast forward to today, Christine and David have now been married a little over a year they just celebrated their one-year anniversary October 7th, and David had some things to say. I love this right here. Love David Woolley's sense of humor. David Woolley reveals it's been a hell of a ride having a stalker. Sister wife star Christine Brown Woolley and her husband David have been traveling around together. Some of their most recent trips include Sedona and Disneyland. While they seem to adore each other, he reveals how it's been a hell of a ride for him to have a stalker. While Sister Wives star David Woolley is getting used to the world of reality TV, he says it is a bit of a shock. Undeniably, seeing himself on TV has been an out-of-body experience for him. Likewise, now he is experiencing the phenomenon of being married to Christine Brown Woolley, who is recognized almost everywhere she goes. When they made a family trip to Disneyland, David got a taste of people afterwards saying they had seen them. On Instagram, Christine shared the family having a wonderful time, and several fans let them know they were aware. One fan admits, oh my God, I saw you, but I thought I was going crazy. Another adds, oh my God, I saw you at Disneyland yesterday. I wanted to say hi. Someone else confirms meeting them. It was so good meeting you like a dream come true. You are so kind in person. Thank you for taking a photo with me yesterday. We saw you guys there, but I did not want to interrupt your family time to ask for a picture. I had my nieces and nephew and granddaughter. They were like, Auntie, that's one of your favorite sister wives, Janelle being my other. LOL, go get a picture. I said, no, she's enjoying her family. Do not want to invade their privacy. Hope you all made memories to last. Lifetime, I know we did. While it isn't unusual for David Woolley to be recognized now, especially if Christine is along, he admits it was strange at first for him to feel stalked. He tells fans about having a stalker for more than a year. On Instagram, David Woolley talks about his stalker, Christine Brown Woolley. Undeniably, he has a great sense of humor, and so does she. He says, I was in Sedona a few weeks ago, and it's really, really pretty there, just like Christine is. I'm so glad she found me and stalked me. Then he adds, This last year has been a hell of a ride. Furthermore, he has many wonderful things to say about Christine and the love she brings to their marriage. He adds, she's the most thoughtful, loving, caring person. Likewise, he is all in and ready to be her ride or die for the remainder of their lives. He says, I'm enjoying this ride, and I just want to keep riding. Woo wait. While stalking can be a very serious matter, thankfully, David and Christine's case, it brought them together. This person said, she stalked you. This other, per this other person wrote, wait, stalked you? So she had to stalk you? She stalked you? Love you guys' relationship. Fans weigh in. After David Woolley added his cute tribute to Christine, several fans were just glad they found each other. When Christine and David got married, David's daughter, Katie Charlene Woolley, took credit for helping their efforts of getting together. She says she is the actual reason they are together. She said she manifested their meeting by her exuberance after finding out Christine was single. Katie, Charlene, and Corbin. But fans are just happy they are together and thriving. We love that she is finally, she finally has someone who loves her the way she deserves to be loved. You two are perfect together. I'm glad you found each other. You finally found each other and you both deserve it. Keep that love alive and enjoy the ride. Someone even adds to his stalking post. Love you too.
I was at Disneyland yesterday and I thought I saw you, Christine, and Truly. Before we get into the pictures of them at Disneyland, Christine said, So much fun at Disneyland and California Adventure. Love spending time with my family. What is one ride you could go on for the rest of your life? For me, it's a toss-up between Rise of the Renaissance and Peter Pan. Well, for me, I haven't been to a theme park or an amusement park in so long. But now, I'm thinking Donnie and myself need to add that to our little list of adventures that we gotta go on. We just don't have many theme parks or amusement parks close to us here in Northeast Mississippi. I think the closest one would probably be a toss-up between Dollywood and Six Flags over Atlanta. And I'm going to tell you something. I would prefer Dollywood. I've been to Dollywood, but it's been a long, long time. Here are the series of photos that Christine posted. I might have said David posted this, but Christine posted this post right here and tagged David. This is the grandbaby via David's daughter. Look how sweet, y'all. These people love spending time together as a family, and I love this. Uh, it's such a beautiful thing to see. A big family, a big close-knit family. It just makes you feel warm, even if you don't have a big close-knit family like this. Like, that's my experience. I don't have this. But I love to see it. I really do. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel included. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. But back to the amusement park and the theme park situation. Do y'all go to Disney or any theme parks close to you? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, don't forget. The new episode of Sister Wives airs this Sunday exclusively on TLC 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are getting into the goods. We're getting into Christine and David dating. And we're finally going to see and hear David speak. Not just through Christine and her description of their dating adventures. I'm so ready to see her and David sitting down together in confessionals talking about their lives. Ugh, it's going to be such a refreshing breath of air. This is what the fans need to see. We have seen this toxicity between Cody and all these people for so long. Let's see the happiness. Let's see the love. It's long overdue. Again, my thoughts and opinions alone. I know you have different thoughts and opinions. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you're new here. I love you for watching. I will see you in my next video or in the comments below.